Hello students, this is Dr. Janardhan Pawar from TC College Baramati and your teacher of business communication. A very good morning to one and all. I welcome you all for our first lecture of business communication. Friends, I have decided to go for your first lecture officially. I am going to start your syllabus from this lecture. As there are four units for your syllabus this time. So I have decided to start topic number one from your syllabus. As I told you, there are different topics and those topics are also important for your day-to-day -day business communication activities. So before going to start your first topic, let me tell you the concept of business communication. As we people have seen yesterday about the concept of business communication, I still remember, I have given the brief idea about the concept of business communication in yesterday's introductory video. I have been talked about the concept of business and I have been talked about the concept of communication in the last lecture. Still, I am going to repeat the same concepts as a part of or as a requirement of this particular topic. The students, I request you all Whenever I am going to present in front of you through this online platform mode or online platform by using this video, so I request you all, whenever you want to write some notes, you can write notes by uh, pausing the video or sometimes you can write while listening the video. So this is required whenever you feel that it is necessary to write down something, you can write down whenever it is required. So, let me tell you the topic number one. What is topic number one? So as far as your syllabus is concerned, as I told you, there are four topics. So out of those four topics, topic number one deals with the introduction to business communication. So here, they have given the introduction of the concept of business communication. Then they have been talked about the nature and scope of business communication. They have been talked about the features of business communication. They have talked about the process of communication. Not only they have been talked about the process of communication, at the same time, they have been talked about the effective principles which are required to make your presentation or communication effective. So they have given principles which are required for making your communication effective. Not only they have been talked about the principles, but also they have been talked about barriers or difficulties or problems that we face in the process of communication. Not only they have been talked about process or the barriers of communication, they have given the solutions to overcome the barriers also. And those can be called as remedies to overcome the barriers of communication. So friends, I am going to talk about the concept of business communication first and later on I will talk about the other contents of this topic. So whatever I am going to cover in today's session is, I am going to talk about the concept of business communication, I am going to talk about the definition of communication, different definitions are given by different authors according to their own views, I am going to talk about the origin of world communication and at the same time I am going to talk about the effective principles of communication. If you want to make your communication effective, there are certain principles which we need to follow and if you follow those principles definitely your communication will be effective. So I am going to start. Be careful while listening my presentation or my video. So see, when we look at the concept of business communication, we find two different words and these two different words are business and communication. Friends, here this concept is a combination of two different small com uh, concepts and these two small concepts are business and another one is communication. So as a part of starting your concepts, I am going to talk about the first concept that is business. So what do you mean by business? As you guys have studied in the 11th standard as well as 12th standard, business is nothing but what? Business is nothing but buying and selling of goods and services. But my question to all of you is why those things are bought and sold? Because businessmen wants to earn profit or wants to create wealth because of business activities are conducted. No one conducts the activity for the or without the motive of profit. Am I right? Yes. 
because a businessman starts business with the motive of profit he or she wants to earn profit wants to make money this is what business activity that conducted right moving to the next one that is communication communication that we do in our regular life since our childhood when we start speaking or before that also we used to go for communication activity so communication is nothing but what communication is a way of expressing yourself in different modes of communication or different means of communication so here communication we take as exchange of ideas knowledge opinions and information from one person to another person so in simple term when we talk about the concept of business communication when business related information is transmitted from one person to another person from one place to another place it becomes a part of communication or business communication and for that whatever modes and means we use in business activity or in business you know organization it becomes business communication not only this, this much is there for business communication we are going to see everything in a precise and uh, elaborate manner one by one moving to the next one here we are going to see what are the common ways that we communicate how we communicate exactly how the communication is done exactly so for the purpose of communication we go to speak some words sometimes we use images sometimes we write letters sometimes we write everything whatever we want to communicate in a written form as well as sometimes we go for use of body language okay so i'm going to explain these four ways of communication that we regularly use in our day to day life mostly communication that we do by using words and that too, that are spoken from our mouth if i'm not wrong then sometimes we use images for the purpose of communication how it is i think we, we, we all are traveling from one place to another place we travel certain times or certainly or in certain places we travel so whenever we travel we see a number of images you know beside the roads those images are also they use some message they give some messages and from that also communication is there moving to the next one written word sometimes this spoken form and image form of communication is not enough so we need to write some letters in the business organization then we will need to write some paragraphs for the purpose of communication so it becomes written in word so for that purpose written form of communication is used sometimes other these forms of communication are not used just we use the word body and we do the communication so whatever communication we use we do by using our body language it becomes it becomes very very you know very effective and as somebody said in address which is the most important language in this world that is none other than the body language we express everything sometimes we will show sadness on our face sometimes we will show happiness on our face and that is what we do Just they come to the you know, business 
surface, they sit, but they are not making any sort of buying activity, they are not making any sort of selling activity, there is no communication between the customer and the business owner. And this is what somebody said in that business communication or communication means an integral part of the business. So you cannot imagine business without communication Okay. So here, in case of business communication, what we do exactly at the end of in the process of business communication, what do we do? We will transfer ideas, data, facts, and opinions from the other person. We will do communication with what exactly we will do. We will do a number of things which are required for day to day business activity. So, sometimes we will transfer ideas from one business to another business. Sometimes we will transfer data. Sometimes we will transfer facts. Sometimes we share opinions among two businesses. And this is the point of communication. That is what we do in the business activity. Right? Now, moving to the proper understanding of our business communication. And this is, what, this is what I told you at the beginning. What I told you, this is the concept of two different words, two different small concepts. That is business and communication. I hope you have already understood this. And I already explained to you the meaning of word communication as well as the word in a separate and different map. So this is what I am going to exclude this here. I am going to talk too much about this too. Separate concepts of business communication. And when these two concepts come together, it becomes the business communication. Moving on to the next one. How does this word communication and overthinking care? What is the origin? Where is the origin of care? And how is the origin of care? That is also a part of our study. So let me tell you. The word communication has its own origin. The word communication has been originated from three different words. Basically, these three different words are having Latin origin. So these three words, which are the actual origin of communication, they have taken from Latin dictionary. What are these three words? Communis, communico, and communicare. Basically, these are the three words, and from these three words, the word communication is taken from. So, what does it mean? What does it mean by communist? What does it mean by communico? And what does it mean by communicare? That I'm going to tell you. The meaning of these three words is very simple to understand, and it carries equal importance also. So, what does it mean? Communist, communico, and communicare means sharing of information from one person to another person. So this one is the origin of word communication that I want to tell you from this particular three different words called communist, communico and communicare. So remember students, this one is the Latin or these are the three Latin words and these are taken from Latin dictionary and it carries the meaning of word communication. In a simple manner, these three words mean sharing of information from one person to another person. And this is what the concept of communication is emerged or originated. Moving to the next one, here in this particular slide, we are going to talk about the definitions of communication. What are the definitions? There are different definitions which are given by different authors. So there is maybe a question in the mind of you What do you mean by definition? Definition, definition, definition. So definition is, definition is nothing but what? Definition is a simple and universally accepted meaning of the concept. Suppose, whatever thing that you people have understood and if you write, if you write in a simple word, if we get universal acceptance for this. Okay, for example, I will tell you one example. See, if I ask you to define the concept of pain, that, is, that can be used for writing somewhere. Okay. So what is pain? So you can define like this. As a student, you can also define, right? Or as a teacher, I can also define the concept of pain. Pain means what? Pain is an instrument which is used for writing. Am I right? So similarly, you can also write your uh, definition. So these definitions are given by authors. They are not bored at all. They have also understood the concept in a deep manner and they have tried their level best to write it down and those things are universally accepted. We have given the acceptance. Yes, it is true. Whatever 
what you are saying that is true it means what definition so see the first definition is given by Kunz and Weverich so what they these two authors are saying about the concept of communication in a very simple manner they have defined the concept of communication communication is a transfer of information from a sender to a receiver with the information being understood by the receiver see whenever we talk or uh, think about the concept of communication we need to think about two different parties which are involved in the process of communication which are the sender and receiver so see this process of communication can be done between two different parties first is sender and second one is receiver so whatever we transfer from sender to receiver and that should be understood by the receiver is called what communication this is what this Kunt and Kunz and Verich talked about in their own definition of communication moving to the next one that is the concept of this that is the definition given by Stoner and Wapnil one Punkel about the concept about the concept of communication they have been talking like this communication is the process by which people attempt to share in, share meaning via the transmission of symbolic messages so here they have been clearly talked about information that will be transferred or that will be transmitted by using symbolic language as I told you, whenever we travel from one place to another place, there are symbols that we see around, you know, around, uh, sorry, beside the roads. Sometimes there is a symbol of walking one small baby, uh, taking his, you know, bag and some something like that. It becomes, or it can be, you know, it, it can indicate, indicates that there is a school or something like that. There can, again, you can see some the symbols of speed breaker and number of symbols, track symbols we see outside. So that that is a way of transmitting the information from one to person to another person. And this is what this is explained in this particular definition of communication. Moving to the last definition of communication, which is given by Newman and Summer. So this is the simplest definition of communication. So in this simplest way of communication, they have been talked about the concept of communication is very simple to understand and we have simply defined the concept of communication and that can be that can that is accepted by everyone in our day to day life so what they have been talked about that i'm going to tell you communication is an exchange of facts ideas opinions emotions by two or more persons so here whenever two or more persons come together they do the same things. So whenever we pray also, when we come together, what we do? We exchange our opinions, we exchange our facts, we exchange our ideas, we exchange our opinions, we share our opinions, we share our emotions with each other. And that is the process of communication. That is called as communication, according to Newman and Summer. So here, there is no need to bother about the definition. Simple definition you people have to remember, and that is definition number three. So here, once again, I repeat, communication is an exchange of facts, ideas, opinions, emotions by two or more persons. That is called as communication. Practice. So here, that we do a regular on regular basis. Every day we do the same things. For example, suppose somebody is not attended the lecture. When you meet after the lecture, that person will ask you, what sir has done? Then you start sharing whatever I taught in the lecture. That is called about exchange of opinion. That is called about exchange of idea. That is called about exchange of information from one person to another person. So this is the concept of communication. So we have seen the different definitions of communication in this lecture. So I hope you all have understood. Thank you so much. Bye bye.